seems that prior to the incident, the Belopan police made an arrest for drug possession and the persons who allegedly hurt Mr. Rodriguez believed that he was the one who called the police on them and hence the reason for the, the beatdown. The incident came to us as a surprise, especially considering PC Rodriguez. He is one of the most humble person I've ever worked with. Um, he is very obedient, he's loyal to the organization and took us by surprise. We wouldn't um, seek revenge on anybody, that's not the, the, the job of the police. We have to do our job and we did that and nobody could complain that they were ever hurt whilst in the police custody. And I believe that the law will take its course so as the case proceeds. The statements that we have, and, and these are from people who were on the scene at the time, I, I presume those who are speaking are, are people who weren't on the scene, on the scene, sorry. And um, the statements that we have in our possession at this time, all the statements reveal that PC Rodriguez was first hit from behind the head and he fell to the ground. And it was then that, that the two men allegedly beat up on him, causing the injuries that I alluded to earlier. You saw the, men, the two men went to court just now and um, I did not observe any injuries on them. So I won't get into a back and forth as to, to who did what first, but the investigation that we have undertaken shows us that, yes, the police was there. He was there to, to meet with somebody. And it was, my understanding is, based on the statements that PC Rodriguez was, wasn't drinking. As a matter of fact, he had just come off duty at the time of the incident on Sunday. So um, I wouldn't be in a back and forth with any family, because I'm sure that the people are saying that they're family members. So I wouldn't be in any back and forth as to who is guilty. This case will go before the, the, the court, and I believe um, we have a very good case to present to the court when, it, when the time comes.